Hi, my name is Maya and welcome to the iSchool Assumptions video. I'm a junior here in the iSchool studying Information Management Technology and also double majoring in Forensic Science with a minor in Global Security Studies. Hey, I'm Chris. I'm senior in the iSchool. I'm studying the same thing as Maya I'm from East Quag, New York, and I also have a minor in Computer Science. Hi, my name is Jin Su. I'm a sophomore at iSchool studying Information Management and Technology. All right, let's get started. Cool. So in this box, we crowdsource a bunch of different assumptions that iSchool students might have or people from outside might view these. We're going to pick one of these and decide if it's true or not. iSchool students can't go abroad. So I definitely know that's not true because I just came back for being abroad in uh, Barcelona, Spain. So there's various options that people can go abroad. It's a requirement in the iSchool, an international requirement. You can fulfill that via going abroad for an entire semester or the various immersion programs that we have here. Yeah, so one of the immersion programs I'll actually be going on is Asia Tech, and that's visiting four different countries in May, and I'll get to visit some companies out there and then do a bit of like cultural immersion, which is really fun. Um, also, for international students, you don't have to study abroad because you are already studying abroad. But for me, uh, I'm planning to study abroad in London next semester because I heard that's a wonderful program. People in technology make a comfortable living. Actually, for me, I do agree this statement because as high school students, our starting salary is $67,000 and our placement rate is high as 92%. Yeah, which is good for us. I yes. mean, I feel like getting started in any industry is kind of intimidating because you're worried about how you're going to make that living and kind of how you're just going to live on your own for the first time. So coming into the iSchool, I feel like just knowing that gives you some bit of hope, right? Any technology job is high in demand right now. So there's always going to be a comfortable living out there and a lot of different job offerings for us coming out of the iSchool once we graduate. The iSchool is very collaborative. So I'm assuming that's like a collaborative space. Everyone in the iSchool is pretty willing to work with one another. I feel like our classes do a great job of forcing us to just be in groups and work together because that's how the industry is. I mean, what do you guys think about that? Yeah, there's a ton of group work in our, in our classes where we're actually preparing IT uh, packages for different companies out there, whether they want to upgrade their technology services. So that gives a lot of practice for working with teams and the team dynamics that come from that. Yes, and we also uh, enrich our cooperation and communication skill while doing the group projects. The iSchool is overlooked as a first choice. So one, as the iSchool is small, there's tons of opportunities here. You always see new people coming in every single day. So there's always opportunities to come to the iSchool and see what's going on. Yeah, I think it's interesting that there's a lot of intra-university transfers that come into the iSchool, maybe their second or third year of being on campus. Um, I believe it's because they see a lot of parallel between what they're doing, but then finally realize what our program is and that their interests lie in the iSchool really. So they might pair that with a major or they might um, decide to just major here or even pick up a minor. Yeah, and we also have excellent dual program with business management like Whitman and public communication like Newhouse. You have to be techie. I don't think so. So I'm not techie at all really. I'm definitely more interested in the business side. I feel like coming in I was intimidated because of that. I didn't think that I would ever learn how to code and even though I'm more comfortable with it now I'm still more interested in the organization of a business and how they use technology. Yeah I'm very technical myself so I'm actually dealing with implementing the technology down on the lower level. So there's definitely options in order to do that. Okay, so that was our last one. I hope we kind of dispelled some assumptions people might have had about the iSchool and our program. I encourage you to comment some more assumptions that you might have or some ones that we might have left out that you're kind of interested in hearing about. Yeah, we'll include them in a future video to debunk them and also check out some other content on our YouTube channel. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs>